So we just heard that uh, the team, your teammates had losing tears after this. And how, how bad does it hurt losing rivalry games or anyone who says that they all hurt? Yeah. Um, you know, anytime you lose, it, it definitely hurts, um, especially in overtime, especially a rivalry game. Um, you know, everybody on the field fought for all 60 minutes and the entire overtime period. So just when you when you give it your all like that and it doesn't doesn't pan out for you, it's tough. But, you know, we just got to take it how it is, come back next week and, um, you know, focus on winning every game. Did you, you feel like you personally rebounded after last week? Yeah, I definitely um, felt like I had a better day today um, than last week. I think the offense, you know, we moved the ball really well. Um, didn't really have too much of a lull. I think we felt like we moved the ball every drive. Um, just didn't finish. Uh, you know, uh, biggest thing, got to put points on the board. Last year, you guys had a kismet year where everything went right. You won the close game takes until Air Force. Do you feel like maybe it's payback? No, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I think, uh, you know, we're going to be all right. And just from, from here, we, we got to focus on, you know, the next week rather than, you know, what happened these past two weeks. And I think that um, we can definitely do that. Is that the one thing you meant you look back? You moved the ball 500 yards so often, so you just didn't put enough more <coughs> to get a chance. Yeah. Um, the, the biggest thing was finishing, you know, even in overtime. Um, you know, when you get on offense first, you get a try to score a touchdown um, so that the other team doesn't have to just kick a field goal. Um, and yeah, the, at the end of those drives, I mean, we drove down to the opposite side of the field just about every time. And, uh, you know, just didn't finish. So we got to definitely come out and focus on that next week. Back to back know. weeks in overtime. I mean, there's so much build up for one game a week and for it to go down like it did two weeks in a row. What's the frustration level in that locker room? I think everyone was really frustrated. Um, you know, when we went in overtime, people were saying, you know, it's not going to happen two, two times in a row. You know, but it did. Um, I think we just got to, you know, press on and focus on the next week rather than, you know, get down on ourselves about <clears throat> two really close games. And by no means one. On the pick six, did you feel that the receiver um, was hit early and therefore that's how come it popped up and you could get it? Um, yeah, I actually, I got hit on that play, but I looked on the big screen afterwards. Um, we like got to him and uh, went off the defender's shoulder, you know, up in the air. Um, I'm, I'm not the judge of whether or not it was early or not. Um, so theoretically, there's the defender and he's like covering up the receiver, right? Yeah, it's definitely tight coverage for sure. You just watched the the with a film, quote unquote, of that play. You get, usually, you guys like to say you like to look, look at the film. Do you think that you should have thrown that ball? Um, yeah, I think that um, you know you just got to take it for what it is. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, you know, definitely would have happened if I threw it at his feet. But, you know, at the time, it looked like if I was able to get it to him and he could, you know, the defender was coming outside, so if he could just get it and turn up field, um, it could have been a big play. Uh, like I said, I mean, looking back on it now, seeing if that happened, obviously not. But um, at the time, I think it was a decent decision. I realize you got to be careful with this question, but when you get in a field goal position over and over again and come up with zero, that's got to be tough sitting on the sidelines and watching those kids not going yeah, but um, you know, at the end of the day, we wouldn't be in those situations if um, you know, as an offense, we moved and um, put it in the end zone. And I think that uh, it just rests on those third downs. We just gotta, you know, focus on converting so that um, you know you want you want in the drive with a touchdown and a you no know, PAT um, that didn't happen. You know, so 